Welcome to the Rhododendron Species Botanical Garden. We feature a world-class collection of rhododendron species, over 700 here in our 22 acres of botanical garden. We also feature a world-class nursery, produces over 20,000 plants a year for sale in our gift shop and through the internet and through our two catalogs every year. This is a garden full of plants collected in the wild for conservation purposes, display, and education. We supply museums, botanical gardens, and collections around the world and are the single largest collection of wild rhododendron species in the world. We are located in Federal Way, Washington, right off of I-5 between Tacoma and Seattle, and we are open year-round, every day except Monday, and we hope you come and visit us. Rhododendrons are considered to be almost ubiquitous here in the Pacific Northwest, but remember that it is the state flower of Washington. This is our native rhododendron, Rhododendron macrophyllum, which typically blooms with pink flowers in early to late May. You can see that in the mountains or out on the Olympic Peninsula. But we also grow about 700 other species from around the world, primarily mount the mountains of Asia, China, the Himalayas, which is where most of the species rhododendrons occur. You can see those here, and they are in bloom year round. And here at the Rhododendron Species Botanical Garden, we don't just grow the hardy rhododendron species, we grow all rhododendron species. That includes about 300 different species that are from the tropics. These are epiphytic plants that grow up in jungle trees and the tops of mountains that are called viraeas. And you see many of them featured here in the Rutherford Conservatory, which is a heated greenhouse that Visitors can come and visit year-round, and things are blooming year-round. The tropical species tend to bloom all through the year. Here's one hanging over my left shoulder right here called Rhododendron calignus, which is a very rare species from Papua New Guinea. We also grow a lot of rhododendron relatives. They're in the same family as rhododendrons, but they are a different genus. For instance, tropical blueberries, such as the Agapetes, is related to rhododendrons, but is not hardy enough to be grown outside. And in the Rutherford Conservatory, we also feature tree ferns and rare tropical orchids. So we do have probably about 600 different kinds of plants here in the Rutherford Conservatory, and any day of the year, you'll find at least 50 of them in full bloom. Garden. One of our primary missions is the conservation of rare and endangered wild species rhododendrons. This is a very good example right here to my left a species from the Philippines called Rhododendron taxifolium. You see the very narrow foliage on this evergreen shrub, which does look like a little yew tree, but you see the obvious white bell flowers of a rhododendron. This species, as far as we know, is now extinct in the wild. It was known from one mountaintop in the Philippines, which has since been burned and logged off and is now growing cabbages. Another part of our mission here at the Rhododendron Species Botanical Garden is to illustrate and educate plants that occur naturally in the wild, such as this species, Rhododendron dendricola, which is a tender species, so it's grown here in the Rutherford Conservatory, but that is known from only one valley where it grows on cliffs overhanging the river in northwestern Yunnan. Come and explore 22 acres of botanical splendor. We have miles and miles of trails with color throughout the year. Spring, obviously, is a highlight for rhododendron flowers from mid-March until mid-May, you'll see anywhere from 150 to 200 different species of rhododendrons blooming. Right now it's about the middle of April and here you see Davidsonianum with pink and the beautiful blue flowers of Augustinii. We're near the gazebo, the center of the garden. And Make sure you visit our beautiful Alpine garden. The best place to see the Alpine garden is in the newly renovated garden gazebo. And from the garden gazebo, you get an expansive view of most of our 22 acres of beautiful flowering rhododendrons and companion plants. We also feature a vast collection of rhododendron relatives, including ornamental blueberries and other relatives of the rhododendrons and azaleas. Probably the finest collection of these in North America. From mid-April until mid-June, we have over 500 beautiful sky blue poppies growing in a meadow-like setting. We have about 150 different Japanese maples, which give us great fall color and ornamental appeal throughout the year. An amazing magnolia collection. We have an iris collection, a lily collection, primulas, and we also have quite a good collection of our native plants, many of which are quite beautiful ornamentals. Another new feature is our new big leaf forest, which is about two acres of the big leafed rhododendrons. The leaves on these species range from two to three feet in length, and these will be 40 foot trees someday. 
You can be a part of our important mission of the conservation of rhododendron species. Many of these plants are endangered in the wild, and through your efforts to help us preserve these species, we can have these plants available for posterity and for future generations. Please. One of our best success stories is the introduction of rhododendron huanum, which is a species that is almost extinct in the wild. That was introduced by us back in 1995 and is now growing successfully in our garden and has been distributed as pollen, seed, and young plants around the world to collectors and other botanical gardens. Here you see its beautiful April flowers of lavender rose purple with a big red calyx. Please visit our website at rhodegarden.org to find out how you can help us in this important mission. There you will find information about the garden, the rhododendron species, membership, and our various publications and plant sales. Come and give us a visit. Thank you.